Go look around here on the top and see what little hidden surprises there are. I think I already looked at this, actually. There are none. This, oh, Jesus Christ. This looks like, or it reminds me of that area in Riven with the big tall cage and the works. I can't do anything with these. Why are we in here? Well, let's try a cage. Did this open both of them? No. It opened one of them. Oh, wait a minute. Is that... There's a way up right here. Or is it? Is it a way down? And not a way up. See, I want to go in one of these, but I feel like I'm going to end up having to open both of them. But I feel like if I open both of them... Let's 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 just look here. Okay. Into the trade house, borrow hearts. Those are borrow hearts. I thought the Okay. The code for the door on the table in front of you and several art pieces on the wall. outside, climb down into the water via the broken wall sections, enter the gate you've opened by pressing the red button on the other side. This is a sort of maze-like structure. Proceed forward and then turn left. Okay. What, when did it tell me to do that? It didn't tell me to do that. So it tells me, jump in the water. Oh, and then you needed to open the doors. <sighs> I guess I'll just open both of them. Just, just to be safe, I'll open both of them. Because otherwise, I'm going to have to come back. Now, it doesn't actually say, it says jump down into the water, but it doesn't say which. Which door to go through. So how did I fall off this the first time, game? <sighs> All right. Well, we'll just go in one of them. I'm going to keep going down here. I want to see if both of them lead to the same area. Looks like they do. Yeah. All right. Oh, 
little pit up there. I want to know what this thing does. Not... Okay, the game is hinting I need to use... Oh, it's because I'm carrying this stupid thing. So I gotta go put this back on the fucking pillar. Because I've got it in my... Actually, no, I don't. I can just put it down on the ground. Something tells me I need to put it down on the ground while I'm on this. And hopefully that guy doesn't take it. Yeah, apparently that's all I can do. Okay, let's send this all the way up and see what it actually does. up quite a ways. And then when I get off of it... The elevator will rise if someone is standing on the plate. Since you can't stand on the plate and take the elevator up, a bar will have to help you. Draw the symbol found on Yisha's seventh journal. What the fuck does that mean? How do you how would you, how do you know that? I was very young when I first felt strong. Indeed, I was young. Like how would I how would I know I need to draw this on there? I had many ability. Are you kidding me? How would I know I need to draw that one? Instead, they use the symbol found in Yusha's seventh journal when described above. That's why I opted to present that as the correct one. If you draw the snake symbol from where? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. What the fuck? So now we have to go get the tablet again. So it says if there is, if um, there's, there's a snake symbol you have to draw, which is from the fourth place. I can't pick this up. Now I can pick it up. Okay, and I can't, I can't just jump off. Fucking game. What the fuck? Oh my god, game. Pissing me off. There's a snake symbol in the fourth age that apparently works. Again, how you're even supposed to know that you need to do that is beyond me. Alright. We can't set that until I've dropped the th stupid tablet. Can I drop the stupid tablet now? While I'm still on it. Lift that up. Pick up the tablet. Pick up the tablet. 
we go. Now. Let's... Oh, right. I have to be standing on this thing. Okay, fine. I get it. All right. So we clear this out, and then we draw this symbol that I'm not sure how I'm supposed to figure this one out. But at this point, I don't care. He's not standing on the tablet. He's supposed to stand on the tablet. young when I first felt strong. Indeed, I was okay. young, but that I thought kinda I understood. That one kind of goes that way, and then it kind of points it down. Many... God, I hate this. God, I hate this. Uh, let's, let's give it a little bit more room. And this kind of goes like... Oh, Jesus. Kind of goes like that, like that, like that, and like that. Drop the tablet. Not there. Drop the tablet. Okay, well, fine. Maybe it will come... Actually, wait, 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 wait. It seems to be the orientation that I am in. So maybe... If I drop the tablet here... Okay. I've about had it with this fucking walkthrough. Okay. Go past the elevator, look at the counterweight on the left. At the end of this corridor is a pressure plate. The elevator will rise if there is someone standing on the plate. Since you can't stand on the plate and take the elevator, a borrow will have to help you. Draw the symbol found in Yisha's seventh journal on the slate and drop it on the plate. This will ensure you have enough time to get to the counterweight and get to the elevator, as the borrow will link in and sing. Turn around, walk to the counterweight, set it as high as it will go, walk to the elevator, wait for the borrow to link in. When it does, the elevator will take you up. This is as high as it can go. No, it could go a little bit higher. God damn it! And then I stepped on it. Really. I fucking stepped on it. God, this fucking game. What a terrible game. Just overall, awful. Like, I thought Uru was pretty bad, but this is... Jesus Christ. Okay. Drop the tablet. And now he's not going to come back?
So he was supposed to stand there, dance and sing because of the symbol. I think it erased the symbol. I have to put the symbol back. God, this fucking game. <sighs> if I can get this stupid thing to work... And I think we're going to call this the end. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright. Drop the fucking tablet. Drop... Drop. Oh, and I gotta draw the symbol again, because of course it didn't keep that symbol. Why would it keep that symbol? Okay, all the way up. It's a symbol like that. the tablet. <laughs> I, I am very tempted to. All right, get off. So there's the red, the red, the green, and the blue. Gotta be very careful not to fall into the hole. There's another counterweight thing. Okay. Oh, Jesus. There's, there's more. It is a maze. So we did... Okay, okay. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna follow this one. Four corridors with a colored... Is this still going on? It is still going on. Four corridors, each with a colored jewel visible. Find the red corridor that hasn't got the elevator controls, like the one downstairs. Proceed to the end of it and press the red button. At the intersection, turn right. Go well, that way, press the red button. Turn... okay, okay. So, just follow the, the color combo. So the one that doesn't have the pressure plate is this one. So press the button. Red. Red. Green. Blue. And a new pedestal. But of course I don't have the thing, so now I've got to write this symbol down because I'm going to have to type it in myself. Draw it in myself, I should say. Alright. Now we are on another part of the island. With another one of those little guys. What can we see out here? Nothing. Ah, oh, Jesus, every goddamn time. Once again, you impress me with your ability. The way has not been easy. You've come here via the way of the Krish. 
the warriors, the natives who traveled here to subdue the beasts for us. And what has become of them? Back to their barbaric ways? Yeah. What a waste. Yet more destruction at the hands of the outsiders who have never understood what the Khni is. And now they can rebuild it? He's getting a little unhinged. Getting a little unhinged. There's nothing out here. And this pier seems very unnecessary given how shallow everything is. Can I make it through? I guess I can make it through. All right. Another big pillar. got to be a reason we can go. Can I drop these counterweights? This looks like this is important. Also, that island out there, that rock looks like it's got something on it. I think it's got a pillar on it. I can't walk out to it. So that has a lever going into there. That's counterweighted to that. I see, I see. Okay. So, like, what is that? The, the doorway in? It's not a doorway, though. It's just a plank with a weight on it. And then that... What is that? Okay, this is getting to be... Uh, a big... empty area. It's very confusing, actually. Are we actually... No, we're not able to. I thought we were able to actually circumnavigate the entire island here. I don't think there's a way up there. So this is just another weight puzzle. Alright, before we get stuck into that... I have a feeling I'm going to need to do something to get this tablet back. So let's go grab the tablet. Grab you here, bring you out here. Okay, so the symbol is like... It's not very good. Bring it down. 
that, then up, out, and then like that. Okay, it took it. So now... Here it is. And I can take this, good. Okay. So now let's go look at the way here. Yes, yes, it has been hell, <laughs> Kira Jim. You know, if, if this was not the last game in the series, and I've done all the series so far, I probably wouldn't have bothered. I just want to get this done and say that I have completed the whole thing. So, let's see. Uh, are we going to say those are about the same size? So like two smalls, three mediums, and two larges? I'm going to say two smalls and one medium. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we can we can just say it's out of spite. then it's got to be a little bit more. We pull on it more. Okay. Guide. <laughs> What's the guide say? When a shipwreck along with Escher gives you another speech and reveals a bit of xenophobia towards the outsiders trying to rebuild the knee. Okay. So, the DRC. This happens afterward. Uh, seaweed on your left and a pond with a boulder on your right. When you arrive at another pond, turn left and there's a structure. This is a weight puzzle. The objective here is to balance the beam in front of you so the two openings that are currently blocked allow you access to a lookout point. Uh, so there must be a, a hole in the rock behind that one then. Behind the boulder to the right and cables, you'll see door attached. I solved this puzzle by trial and error. Great. Messing around with the rocks and cables until the beam looked balanced. There are seven rocks and seven suspended cables that set the rocks up or down. Okay. We'll just go with... We'll just go with it. It says here. So, uh, down, up, down, down, up, up, up. No? Okay. I don't know how how we arrive at this puzzle. I don't... Uh, th this solution, I don't know how that makes any sense. I guess, you know, it's got the two smalls and a medium, and then you just start pulling on one that's going to give it enough weight to balance it. I guess... Oh my god, stop with that. Let's Let's go back to... This. For a minute. Just click, click navigate. Yeah. All right. So I see that pedestal out there. Was it maybe looking at the rocks on this as well? This looks like a little elevator, maybe? No? Okay, I give up. Why do I want to be up here? On the flag, there's a symbol. Oh, okay, so we got to get the wind. 
got to do the wind thing again. Clear that out. Put the wind down. Drop the tablet. Move away far enough that it will set the wind going. What in the hell is that? Some kind of fish motif. Okay. So I got to do this and this. Something like that. Drop it down. Get out of here again. I can't go out there when the borrow is there. I guess I didn't do it right. You can kind of see how this thing jutted off there. Damn it. Right. Try it again. With a circle. Oh my god. Would you fucking stop? Why does my mouse do that? You get too close to the edge, and it just sends it off. Right. Get me out of here. Alright, he took it. What a pain. What an absolute pain. Everything about this game is just a pain. There's the symbol. What was that about? <sighs> Again. The distant isle. Very few have been here. You have... You have done well. Treasures were kept here. And still are. The Tablet of the Keep is perhaps the greatest treasure ever held by man or beast. And you will hold it soon. Power is in your hands, friend. Whether you like it or not. Why do I pace? I'm afraid. I fear what you'll choose in the end. I hesitate to tell you this, to add to your burden, but I must. There is another option in the end. The mist. It lies locked on the desk where you began in Kvir. 
Yisha will not go there. She's grown to detest that island, so the tablet would be safe from her hunger for it. Be alert. A choice awaits. Do not let your feelings of doubt, perhaps even of me, cloud your reason. That is not a face that really inspires confidence that he was making there. Yeah, I, you know, I'm thinking maybe, like, a lot of people haven't been out here because apparently Dunny can't swim or go along very shallow sandbars to get out here. Although, I mean, to be fair, there was that monster that was swimming out there that we saw earlier when we got to the island, but... What the hell? He says there's treasures here, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna go walk around, because this is... God. This is such a, an annoying interface. But, yeah. Every time I meet him, everything he says, I do not trust. And, you know, like, you'd think that if he's going to be the foil for Yisha, who herself is unhinged and crazy, you'd think that, uh, you know, you, you might actually care. Like, like, they would develop the characters in such a way that you would question, like, well, you know, do I? Do I do this? I mean, should I just give it to him? Should I trust him? Is Yisha my enemy? Etc. Etc. And then, uh, the hell is this? You know, and then and then and then you might have doubts about what you're doing, but it's just like, well, I I don't know. Like he acts very sketchy, so like I have no instinct to trust him. But yes, you might be right. Like after playing all the games here, everyone who's done he is just absolutely horrible. So. Oh no. Oh shit. I hit the button, I didn't hit the tablet. I'm glad we could just come back here, though. There we go. Alright. So now we can go back. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. I see. Shit. I think I just went back to where I didn't want to go. Is this the island again? Okay, we're back on the island. Um, let me out. I don't think this is... we still got one more place to go, so we're not... We're not there yet. Not at the end yet. But it kind of seems like... So this, this pedestal said it was number... Three. I'm pretty sure. Nope, that was number four. That was number four, so that's why he said... That's why he gave me that speech just now. So I wonder if... So this is number three. I wonder if that's how we got that wrong then. Do I need anything from here? I mean, obviously I have to unlock the, the tablet. But apparently that symbol that we were supposed to use in number four was found in number three which we have not been to yet. Oh well. I still don't know how you're supposed to know that you use the number seven anyway. Number seven glyph. Because I've written these down, and there's more of them. There's a powerful maybe, oh, maybe it's talking about uh, this Pride other one. Thief. Pride not that one. The Stranger. The friend returned. Not that one. I am sick of the grower. Oh yes. Not that one. 
to mana. Where the hell is this symbol home. at? Well, it's the squiggly symbol anyway. I am finding where I am by understanding where I was. Not that one. Well, it's in one of those books. Anyway. Oh my god. Ugh. I'm kind of I'm kind of done, but at the same time, I just want to finish the game. We might be able to do that. But at the same time, we might not. I don't know. What do you guys think? If I, if I follow the guide for this third age. Yeah. Yeah, there's this number three. I, I thought we were in number three, but we were actually in number four. But we have to do this one so it unlocks the last book on the, uh, on the what's it, on the pedestal. No, it, the speech would have been the end if I had done these in the correct order. So once we do get to Kavir, it looks like this is very short. I think if I just follow this guide, we can make number three pretty short. At the very least, we can get it done. All right, let's, let's do this real quick. Let's just make our way out and be over. Okay, grab the tablet. There's a bunch of stuff over there. Oh, look who it is again. Welcome to my age. Nolaben. When Dukni died, I fled here. <laughs> From death to death, you will see the fingerprints of the creatures everywhere. This was their home, and they did not welcome me. To survive, I was forced to learn. You will learn here as well. It is not like the other ages. Yeah. Yeah, if this is his home, this is where he at least gets to be. Except it's not his home because he just said he stole it from the borough. Holy shit. Do I have to know all those symbols? I bet you I gotta know that one, but it's upside down. So in reality, it's more like this. Okay, hold on a minute. Flip up some turned upside down. This is a special borrow action for this age to summon rain. Copy the symbol. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, so let's bring this up. So it needs to be this way. Uh, not all the way up. There's something about this game and the mouse. It does not cooperate well. It's not very good. Okay. Let's hope that's enough. And it's raining. Okay. So we now have that. And water should be going into these receptacles. To 
to do what? When the rain stops, copy the symbols reflected on the water. Basically, we just have to sit and chill for a minute. I wonder when Real Mist came out comparative to these games. Those. Some kind of bird. Okay. So now, now that those are full, they should reflect some symbols, okay. Uh, but do they? I guess it's these, okay. So the first one is that. The second one is that in a circle. I really need to actually be much more precise. Um, then we've got that one, which is in two circles. And then what is that symbol? It's two vertical lines? Two vertical lines, it looks like. I need to draw this symbol better. Otherwise, I'm going to screw it up, I have a feeling. All right. Well, those should be it, except that that symbol... Wait a minute, now, am I drawing the reflected? I'm, I need to draw these a little bit. Because that, that line is not straight, and who knows if that's going to count for something. Because I probably don't want to draw the reflected line. I probably want to draw the line that's up on the wall. Okay. So we got those symbols. Oh, God damn it. Snake, it's a snake. Yeah. Birds in the rocks. What is going on? Okay. We're we're going back to the controls here. I can't stand how it's skipping like that. So that's that's quite a quite a gap between when those games came out, but I was just wondering about the, the real mist, because when they came out with a real mist, that was when they added the whole day-night cycle and they did a little bit of a graphical update. There's nothing out here. So I was just wondering, because, uh, oh, 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 there's a symbol there. And a stone. Um, because this game eh, didn't age well in that regard can actually go out here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to copy those symbols down. So it's a square with a dot, then two, three, four, and then a circle with a dot. There's actually a few of these symbols here. And that, that symbol, too, I should probably write down. 
dot, circle, circle, with the sun. And then maybe the swirl in the middle, too? Oh, look at that. There's a lens up there. Uh, where's the cave entrance? Oh my god. All right. Game. Where the hell is the entrance to this? There it is. Alright, so we go the other direction now. And what do we have here? Another side entrance. Hold off on that just a minute. Can't go out that way. And I don't see anything over there. Do I have to turn down my mouse sensitivity again? Uh, touch the glow gem? No. All right. Guidebook. Pass the link bubble and stop when you arrive at the fish drying station. Turn around and spot the mole hills in the ground. All these things. I don't know, are you sure there are mole hills and not snake hills? Here we go. Uh, gotta get rid of the slate. Damn it. All right. A dark and stormy night out here. Or day, I guess. Dark and stormy day. Look at that rock in a minute here. I just want to make sure there's nothing else out here. Well, I suppose if I... Oh. It's possible that there's something else going down or some symbol I can see from a distance. Maybe. Kind of doesn't look like it. There's more holes everywhere. Thing is, I don't know where I was just down. Okay. Ah, looks like some kind of torture chamber in there. Fantastic. See, I bet you I need to figure out which hole has which symbol and then open the symbols so okay hold on uh, oh does it actually have the symbol on the plate it's got the symbol on the plate or 
maybe it doesn't. That's a symbol I recognize from the What's It. Let's see here. Uh, good. I got that one. So then... That one. Which looks like this one? It is that one. Okay. That one, that one. So I need to go back to that one and then close that one. Yeah, I know. Like, Escher, Escher embodies everything about Cirrus, Akinar, and Gen. And it's just kind of really terrible. Okay, we need to close that one. So I wonder then if I can tell which ones I need to open just by the symbols on this side here. Well, let's see, what do we got? So we got that symbol. Okay, check. We got that symbol. So what I need... We got that symbol. Which is not correct. Actually, it's not correct. I need to go close that one. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. That one is open. That one needs to be closed. Okay, so just, just making sure here. So I did close that one. Okay. So that one. Okay. That one. That one. The one I'm currently sitting under is the two lines, right? So now what I'm looking for is the hashtag without the pound sign without a circle, which would be that one. So I need to find the two lines and just go to over, which would be this one and then this one. So there's, okay. I need to go check this again. This angle Okay, that's the two lines down. That's the hash. I'm currently under the hash with the circle. And then that's the circle with the two bars in it. Okay. Those are those are all correct. But now... Now what? <laughs> uh, that's one of the symbols. But is it the symbol? I, I can sort of hear something going on in there, but I don't know if it is or not. He's all got the same symbols? Kind of. So do I line it up? Go for a hole. See, but this one isn't lined up with anything. All right, guide. <laughs> symbol on the inside corresponds to the symbol on the outside of the same window. Ah. Pick a window and try to see if you can find one 
of the symbols from the beach. When you find it, leave the window open, go to the corresponding window on the other side, and open it. Then return to the first window to make sure you have opened the right window. If indeed it is the right window, return to it, close it, and take a note of the symbol on it. Okay, so I need to now go see what is on the inside and outside of these ones. That's three lines, and this is the... I don't think it matters. I don't think it actually matters what they correspond to. There's the three dots. that symbol and that symbol all right find the window that has a circle with a dot in the center and the ladder to the beach should be behind you this will help you identify each of the rate rotating stones all right I think this was the one that was lined up. Yeah. Okay. Stone to the northeast view is the only one that has the power symbol. So based on that, 